His power, that's when he built the kind of the temple. So every king, they wanted to build the big one, bigger than another one, bigger than the four. So by this way, he built that, that temple. So the, here, the, all the religious temple built with the bricks. For the house, house, for the dwellers, for royal palace, they built with the teeth. And they attach and a tie, which is glaze, covered with glaze, tie, hanging, hanging like this. By this way, they make roof. The tie. But the, for the house's body, they make the catch and the bamboo for the ordinary people. For the king, they use the thick poles and uh, they, they buy a palace. But the, for the religious building, they use the brick because the brick can stand, last long, now 900 years. So here in, in this back end, in this back end area, is a little bit strange. In 1955, there was a big earthquake happened, but it's not just like this one big temple on the on the on the ground because there is a one iron bed, iron bed, the structure, iron structure, which is exit beneath the ground. There is about 150 feet deep. That layer, there is an iron structure, is laying. So that also standing and protecting the shake of the the outfit. If there is no the iron structure under the ground, nowadays we cannot see this kind of the temple. Almost will be damaged just by by the earthquake a shake. So luckily there is an exit. So the, this area, the beginning area, we found the many uh, artifacts and also the fortified petrified. So they also use this and also they they are also the sandstone. The sandstone they make they use this sandstone to build this kind of the temple as well. And also here they break, they use the brick. But actually, when you look back at our uh, this area of climate weather, it's very hot, and the soil is not a clay. This is the uh, sandy soil, so they cannot make a brick. So why we get this brick? So the king has ruling the country. The king has uh, many governors around this uh, city-state area. So the king order the bricks from the mayor, the mayor from the south, the mayor from the north. So the, all the mayor, all the governor, they have to make the bricks at that area. And then they send this, all the bricks along the Yavi River, and then they build this kind of the, the temple here. So in this case, as you can see that of building, the ground foundation, this temple uh, structure is also the like another temple as well. Uh, there is a central pillar in the middle and a passage way, one passage way with the full vestibule, full vestibule like this. They build it and then when they lay the brick layer, you can see there the brick layer, same brick is a diagonal, diagonal, and same is a horizontal, you can see that. So horizontal, diagonal, horizontal, diagonal. So they, they also make this one to strengthen the shape, to strengthen the weight of the, the temple. That's why they added the uh, bricks tag on it. So they can stand, they can support the weight. And also the one another idea is when they make this attack on the layer to adjust the, the level, elevation level, the height. So they can adjust this here, this side, uh, this level and the other side, the level. So it will be the same level. So by this way they measure, they do also the measurement by making this brick. And also they added the, the sand block at the corner and also the this area they also added the, the sand block long line and long line. So this this sand block is more stronger than the brick. So it's also supporting the weight. That's why they added. And also they, they use the brick. The size is about 22 inches. 22 inches. 
when we excavate, we found that many uh, brick sites. The biggest and the brick site is uh, 22, 20, uh, 23 inches, and the 22, 21, and the 19, and the 17. None of these we we make a brick this size, nine inches only nine inches. In old days, the people they used a the brick when they went and will size 19 inches like this. So when they make the brick, they also use the husk, teddy husk. But they make teddy husk and also horse, horse too. Horse too. So they mix with the clay and then they mix with the water and then they press the granite. They mix to get a very strong, very sticky uh, brick. So, and then they made it. Well, after they made it, they make also the finger mat on the brick layer and then they make a sheet who make this brick. So they also they make a sheet and also a finger mat. So in doing so, the people can know that this brick, where it comes from. One governor from the south, one governor from the north. By this way, they counted the number of the, the bricks. 10,000 bricks from the southern governor. Another 10,000 bricks from the western governor. By this way, they can count uh, the bricks. So they, with these bricks, they build that. And then the, 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 the cement and the mortar. In old days, they used also the mortar and not the chemical. Uh, only the natural uh, came from the tree, plant, and also animal. Like this. So the, the mortar, the white, uh, white cement, uh, white soil, they pound it many times to get this very fine, very smooth powder. So this powder, they added the turmeric, they added cotton, cotton from the red thick <coughs> cotton, <coughs> cotton, they added in the white soil, and also uh, turmeric juice, and also the buffalo, buffalo form, buffalo cellulite and the buffalo leather. They wipe it, they get a sticky liquid, they mix this and also honey. Because they mix it very sticky. They make this mortar. So when they make a mortar between the two bricks, that layer, they make this mortar. This is a very old <coughs> formula. But nowadays we cannot produce this kind of the formula. Very expensive. We have to find out this kind of the material. And also they added the kind of the fruit. We saw in Mendeley, Fiji, Ali, Bell, the fruit, the hat. Uh, hot shell inside. Inside, they use we call it all the, the fresh make it juice. So that one they also added in this uh, in this formula. So by this uh, motor, they make this very sticky. But the, there is another thing. This advantages. After they make this, they cover the white pigment, white cement outside of the brick. This is uh, this motor is composed of the uh, animals and also the honey and. Um, and an egg. So insects, they like very much. So they penetrate inside. So the some of the, the neuropathy damaged by the uh, this kind of insect line. So we can see the inside as well. Well, here you can imagine it. They decorated with the the stucco at the the corner pilaster with the ogre. Ogre is uh, one of the, the creature from the Hindu. One of the, the Shiva. Uh, Hindu God, Shiva, Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu. So Shiva, he created the ogre. So we also use uh, this ogre to this is, uh, the protection, protection say the to the spirit. So they added also the ogre at the corner. You see the this is ogre, this is ogre. And also the there's another side the ogre is feeding the flowers. So we call the freezing ogre as well. They cover this all things. So and also the this area they decorate with the Colorful grace. That would be the green color, a yellow color, and a white color. Very beautiful. It's, it's around the temple. Lower part and the middle part and upper part. So the white color, white color and the this colorful glaze is the greatest. So we, when we see the from the outside, uh, it will be it will be the white color and a very bright color in the sand. You, you saw that either from the sky from the balloon. So you can imagine, it's in those days, there was not the brick color, there was not the brown color. There was a cover with the white color. White color, but the, around this, the different colors, glaze plaques, the greatest. So the, this whole area, more than 2,000, 4,000 temples, or are the, mostly are the white color temples. White color temple. But nowadays, these are the white, the cement off, off because of the weather, Weather and a bit of reorientation, and also the, because of the people. 
we lost. So all the bricks color appear. All the bricks color keep appear like this. Yeah? So the, and then the inside will uh, be also decorated with the mural painting. Mostly that is described about the law of uh, history of the Buddha. Altogether, 550 we call Jataka. But actually we call story, Buddha story in the past. Reincarnation, one in, reincarnation, one story, one incarnation, one story. So they degrade that this all the painting. Uh, one reincarnation, one spot, one story, one plot, one story, one plot. So they degrade the inside to show uh, to the people and this also they degrade it with. That. In those days, uh, when they use the color, there's only uh, black color, white color, yellow color. Like this. But the later period, they added, it did mean 18, 17, 18 century, they added another two color, green color and a red color like this, and also the uh, different blue color, they added more. So the now inside that we can see, the same area still remain the original painting. But most of the area covered with the big painting. So we, have, we can see two different paintings. The small painting, that is the original painting. In the 18th century, 13th century, the people of the temple here and also they paint a the big, the Buddha statue, Buddha built paintings. So we can see the two different paintings, the original and also later period, the painting. You can see inside. Yeah? So now we go inside, uh, we walk around and we come back. Yeah? So we spend here 